Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on the minigame Noteblock Blitz. So if you've never heard of this, this is a really fun and fast paced minigame where you have to run around and jump below note blocks to get coins. However, in one of the note blocks will be a hammer. Now you can use this hammer to knock back and stun your opponents to give you a better advantage uh, to hopefully win. So first of all, let's do forward slash NB. This will show us all of the commands. Um, as with all of the minigames lib plugins, there are some optional commands that you don't have to do, but you could if you wanted to edit the arena. Uh, so first of all, we need to create a lobby. Um, so I might just do it on top of the disk here. Uh, so we are going to do NB, set main lobby. Uh, once we've done that, we can set the lobby for the specific arena, which is going to be A1. Uh, once you've done that, you can go into your arena and we are going to set the spawns here. So let's set one here. This is going to be set spawn for arena A1 and you can go around repeat this command depending on how many spawns you actually want. So we've set three uh, but it doesn't really matter. So next we can actually start editing it. So we can set the arena bounds. Uh, so I'm going to chop down a couple of blocks here and do forward slash NB set bounds for arena A1. This is going to be the low bound. Um, and then we're going to fly up here a bit and maybe go up five blocks and this is going to be the high bound so hi there we go you can change a few other things you can set the display name description author of the arena uh, but as it says here this is optional you could also set the bounds for the lobby and the spectator area if you really want to you, you don't have to do that uh, but we are going to NB set min players for the arena A1 to 1 it's just going to be me and max players is going to be 4 or I should I should really put 3 as there's only 3 spawns and um, another awesome feature is setting it to a VIP arena which would require permission to join uh, but other than that I think that's pretty much everything that we need to do so NB save arena A1 and there we go so the final thing we need to do before we join is create a sign so if we do note block blitz on the first line blitz there we go and the arena name on the second line you will see that it says zero out of three we can right click to join and once we are in it will start as the min players is one um, in the classes you can choose from default or iron and this has a greater speed effect and you can also go in the shop and buy coin boost and there is also the leave button now on the right it will show a scoreboard with your credits max players uh, players and then wins um, so we are waiting 10 seconds for the arena to start all of the note blocks will automatically spawn three blocks above here. Um, some will be floating above like um, here because the arena is not big enough. But if we run around and use the ones that are actually in the arena, um, we will be able to headbutt them. So as it says, jump under note blocks or break them to get gold. So if we jump like that, you'll see lots of gold pops out. We've got seven and it's the first of 50 to win. Um, I haven't actually got the hammer yet, it would be pretty cool to find that, um, but there we go. So there's our speed boost, uh, if we if we actually jump down it will uh, bring us back as you can see. The, uh, the arena bounds is working pretty well, there you go, 25 halfway there, uh, and we haven't got the hammer yet, and um, if we jump up a bit more, uh, we can break them, there we go, 30. 38. We have the hammer. Excellent. Uh, I was hoping we were going to get that. So as you can see it has knockback and we would be able to attack other players um, to make ourselves have a better chance of winning. Uh, 42 almost at the goalpost. 48. One more will do it. Uh, and there we go. I won the game. So there's my KD, my points are 20 and my wins are 2. So um, as you can see uh, I would need to make a bigger arena in order for um, players to be able to get these ones around the edge because it's quite unfair um, not being able to get them. But that is a plugin. Make sure you have downloaded Minigames Library as well for this to run. Uh, but it's free to download and it's an awesome plugin and a fun minigame. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.